Uh, friends, whenever there are problems based on setting arrangements, there are almost three to five problems uh, in a single set, right? Certain informations are provided as we are uh, able to see over here. And based on this information, uh, we are asked about three to five problems. So what should be our strategy? First of all, to get the important extract from the uh, instructions, right? Or from the information that is given over here, right? And we should present them in a readable and uh, readable format precisely. So here in this case, suppose we take up this problem. Four ladies, A, B, C, and T, and four gentlemen, E, F, G, H, are sitting in a circle round a table uh, facing each other, right? Now, the instructions are, there are four ladies and four gentlemen, that means in all there are eight people. No two ladies or two gentlemen are sitting side by side. C, who is sitting between G and E, is facing D, this information and this information. In first instance, no need to read all the information. You start making the diagram, right? And what that diagram will be? Uh, it is a circular round table. So first of all, let's draw a circle. And we uh, will make a uh, mark eight positions for A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H, right? So just see, uh, wait a moment. Now, here we have made a circle. And there are eight positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So we have drawn a circular arrangement with eight positions vacant, right? Now we start filling the positions. Now from the first set, no two ladies or two gentlemen are sitting side by side. Fine. Uh, let's proceed to the next instruction. C, who is sitting between G and E is facing D. So that means, suppose I assume C to be here. He is facing D. That means D is over here. And this C is sitting between G and E. So I assume G here and E here. Right? Now, F is between D and A is facing G. Now, F is between D and A and is facing G. So F is facing G. So if G is here, F will be here. So F is facing G. F is facing G and F is between D and A. So F is between D, that means A should be here, right? Now, this is complete. H is to the right of B. So right position, how can we get the right position? If I uh, 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 position H over here, then on the right side of that, we can uh, make B sit. So H will be here and B will be here, right? The reverse arrangement cannot be done because in that case B will be uh, H will be on the right side of B. I'm sorry, we want H to be right on B, so B will be here and H will be here. Now this is the complete arrangement. Now straightforward, you just answer the questions because based on this uh, uh, these information, there are three to five problems. So once you have spent time on making this arrangement, after that there is hardly any time to answer the question. Now friends, there are three questions uh, in this set. Now uh, I'll just scroll the screen because I have drawn the diagram in another screen. So just read the question first of all, who is sitting to the left of A? So, left of A, this is A facing uh, on this side. So, this will be on right, E will be on right and F will be on the left. Getting my point? Just try to uh, understand this thing. A is facing B, that means they are facing each other. That means right side of A, E will be there and left side of A, F will be there. So, we are asked about who is sitting to the left of A, that will be F only. Right? Now, E is facing whom? Now, where is E? E is facing H. As simple as that. So, E is facing H. Who are the immediate uh, neighbors of B? Just see. Neighbors of B, these are H and G. So, G and H. Right? So, we took time on drawing that particular diagram. After that, it hardly takes any time to mark the answers of the questions, right? So if you take two minutes to draw the diagram, so in that particular two minutes, you are solving three to four, three to five questions, right? So it's worth spending. Okay, so I hope you are clear with this uh, particular set of uh, questions.
Let's take the next set. 